What's up, party people, and welcome back to another boudoir shoot. This one's going to be quick, and I'm going to be talking fast, so strap in. All right, I've got a couple things I want to cover today, and yes, I wrote them down because I'm a nerd, but you guys are going to have to get over it, okay? All right, first up, um, I'm going to talk about mind, body, and soul a little bit. Okay, mind, school. Benjamin starts kindergarten in August, and I was supposed to go back to school with him because I don't have a bachelor's, and I would like to get one. Uh, I have two avenues I would like to go down, either biology and microbiology as a specialty subset, or something office-related like accounting that I could do from home. Now, either of those options are feasible and doable and perfectly fine. Whether or not I choose one over the other is a discussion my husband and I are going to have later. But as of right now, my schooling has been postponed because of the Rona. So people are unsure about whether or not a second wave is coming and whether the kids are going to go back to school. If my son is in kindergarten but only learns through telecommuting through a laptop or an iPad, especially one that the school provides, I'm going to have to be at home with him because we were essentially going to use school as childcare so that I could go back to work and or school. And if he's going to be learning from home and essentially homeschooling, then somebody still has to stay with him, which means at least for one semester, this fall semester 2020, I'm going to postpone my studies to kind of feel out and ensure that even if he can go back, even if it disappears overnight, that he will have somebody here to teach him just in case it's still as bad as it was from March on. So that's school. I'm very excited for him to go to school and we're still going to get him a backpack and a lunchbox and all that good stuff because eventually they might go back and I'd rather him get that when it's on sale and stuff, then, uh, then not. So that's, that's the mind. Body, my weight loss has been happening. It's challenging and I'm trying to figure it out in a way that doesn't stress my body too much so that I have a flare with my lupus, but <sighs> we're, we're getting there. I'm technically down a third of a pound on average. Overall, I'm up a fifth of a pound, which, girl, don't get me started. Okay, just don't, just don't get me started. <sighs> okay, so if you want to follow that journey, my weight loss channel is linked below. I've decided to go ahead and link it because even though I don't want you guys to find it, it might be useful because I am asking for help now that I've hit my week one recap. Uh, so if you know anything about nutrition, about weight loss, about fitness, anything like that, even if it's just a hobby of yours and you have a trick that worked for you or a resource that you've used that has been, you know, helpful, please go ahead and comment on that video or even this one. All right, mind, body, and now soul. Now, our souls are things that we need to feed and take care of as well. Whether or not you believe we have one, your soul, your spirit, your mental health, whatever you want to call it. So, our Disney trip is not canceled yet. And I've been checking the app every day to make sure that we still have our dining reservations. And our fast pass window is coming up. But with them reopening the parks, they have this reservation system that they're supposedly going to employ over the summer, where if you're a resort guest, if you're a current um, ticket holder, you have priority into the park. It'll be at 30% capacity or something, which is around 6,000 people. I don't know if that includes cast members, but if it does, you're looking at like a 4,000 person crowd in a huge park. Now you are going to have to maintain distance, but that low of a crowd level at Disney is unheard of, even in slow season. So that'll be interesting to see. Our trip isn't until Labor Day at the very end of the summer. Now, if a second wave hits and they have to reclose the parks, we'll go ahead and cancel. 
But if it doesn't, we might still go. And I will vlog every moment of that if you guys want to see what Disney is like with corona restrictions. It will be Benjamin and Stevens, my son and husband's first trip I have been before in the summertime. Um, you know, regular crowds, regular day. Uh, I went two days, all four parks. It was crazy, but we had a blast with my group. And I, I know a lot of people wouldn't do it for a first trip, but it's an opportunity. I don't know if we can pass up. So there's that. Uh, if we don't go to Disney, there's a lot of other th balls in the air that might change, such as apartment versus a house. We are tired of living in an apartment, tired of having neighbors walk by our bedroom window at two o'clock in the morning with music playing. We are tired of having to share a yard with people who don't pick up their dog poop. There's a lot of things about living in an apartment. While there are pros, the cons are starting to become very heavy on the scales. So we have been feeling like we might be outgrowing our current place as far as comfort goes. Uh, not necessarily that we have too much stuff, although we do and we need to get rid of some. Not necessarily that, you know, our family's getting any bigger, but we think we might want a more permanent residence, a more secure home. Some place like a building we can call our own, a property line, uh, not having to worry about shared communal spaces, being able to invite people over and not you know, have to tell them which door to knock on, just give them an address and they know where to go. Uh, so there are a lot of things that we are looking for in a house. Uh, price is a big part of that. So if we don't go to Disney, all of those funds will probably be allocated into a house fund, which is very exciting. But those are very early days. We're, we're still in the preliminary talks. And the, other than that, things we've been talking about are our pets. We have, currently we have a 20 gallon fish tank with two go shrimp. That's it. If you're a fish person, you know that two go shrimp in a 20 gallon tank is an empty tank. Uh, we did have a bit of an issue with, uh, some of the neon tetras we brought in the last wave. We didn't quarantine them like we were supposed to. I know, go ahead and yell at me in the comments, I don't care. We didn't quarantine them and they infected the tank. And one by one, all of our fishes seemed to just kind of go belly up and it was very sad. We had one that lasted maybe an extra week beyond the others, but they all went belly up and then we have this like dark green, black slime, sludge, algae stuff that's growing in like a blanket across the gravel and across all of the decorations. And we're trying to figure out how to get rid of it without having to buy a snail. I might end up getting a snail for the tank anyway, but I want to make sure that we have a clean environment for any fish we bring in. And we've also been debating if we even want fish. The fish are for me. They're not for my son. My husband doesn't care. The fish are for me. But if we have a pet, my son wants to be able to interact with it or he doesn't care. So we've been discussing other small pets that we could keep in an apartment setting that he would be able to interact with a little bit more because we are firm on we don't want a dog until we have an outdoor space big enough for it to run around in which means we're not going to get a dog until we get a house. If we ever get a house, we may never get a dog if, if that's the case. He wants one. We want one. Me and my husband both like desperately want a dog, but we're not going to add another dog to the population out in the backyard, especially if in the shared backyard space, nobody else picks up dog poop. I'm not doing it. I, it's, I've lived that life. I'm not a fan of it. So dogs are out. We've been looking into things like bearded dragons, corn snakes, um, hamsters, and other small rodents. The issue is we want to be responsible pet owners. We don't want to just get one of those critter trails cages for a hamster and call it done because those are definitely not enough space. 
Uh, we've been watching a lot of videos. Uh, apparently, the hamster community is really into things like detolfs from Ikea, which we have an entertainment stand that might be big enough for it. We did some measurements. There would be about three and a half or four inches of overhang of glass on both sides, which is a safety concern for both of us involved, me and my husband. Oh, hold on. I'm just checking the time here. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to wrap this up, but we're talking about pets. We're talking about houses. We're talking about our potential Disney trip. I've been working on weight loss. Benjamin is looking forward to school at the end of the summer. The only other thing that I have to cover is uh, rewards. If I do hit my one pound per week benchmark in my weight loss, I need to figure out non-food type rewards because it used to be like, oh, I lost a pound, let's go get ice cream. And I would really like to get away from that. So I have bath bombs and I've got some books. I could give myself like an hour of uninterrupted reading time. But other than that, I'm wondering what kind of self-care, if you guys would invest in more workout equipment, if you would invest in like a movie or... Uh, if you would buy yourself a new game, like, I don't know what to reward myself with because my time is already stretched so thin and I don't want to just keep buying hobbies and things like that. So if you have any ideas for things that make you feel like you gave yourself a pat on the back that aren't food, please drop them below. I don't know if you guys like these boudoir shoots. I like shooting in my bedroom because it's less echoey than the rest of the house. It's comfortable for me to sit and uh, I like the name. I know it's kind of cheeky, but you know, whatever. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, like to let me know if you want more of these videos and subscribe if you care anything about my life. I don't expect anybody to. These are mostly for me, but uh, watch out for another Peanuts Corner. We have another thing of slime coming. All right. Love you so much. Bye.